right. It is day, I don't know, two, three. Been exploring a bit already out here in Nova Scotia and finding our way to this next stop. Um, this is the wall. This is the big thing that I've been so excited about because it looks like there are like some really specific features in this wall, even more so than a place like Sage Wall uh, that I've been covering um, or different places that this one has actual evidence in the stone of clear man-made influence, which is why I've been so excited about getting to this site. Now, really out here in the middle of nowhere and we've got much further to go. Um, my, me and my buddy Crispin, um, who actually um, helped me find this location. I would have been going in the complete opposite direction. But we're getting out here. We're going to um, see what we can find. We may be walking quite a, quite a bit but um, and exploring, but um, if we find what I'm hoping to find, it'll all be worth it. Man, I wish I'd got that. We are... We are in the middle of nowhere, and as I was coming down this road, this giant black bear on the uh, on the trail on the road. Um, so we're making our way. So clearly, we're gonna have to be really careful out here. That thing was massive. Um, and he just went running off down the trail up the road here. Um, but if I see him again, I'll try to get him on camera. All right, we found what we think is a, a starting point. Me and my new buddy Crispin, who we've been friends on Twitter for a while, are out here exploring, and we think we, we're in the middle of nowhere. There's bears out here, already seeing them. But we're gonna get up in these uh, this this little kind of entry point to the woods here. We're all uh, getting deeded up, got some machetes and stuff because the vegetation's pretty thick. Hopefully, find what we're looking for. Uh, so. We're gonna get all in here and uh, brave the bugs because they're everywhere. All right, let's go. Think you found it? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. So it looks like we may be coming up on it. We've been going through the brush here. This is some thick brush. And uh, without grid point, like grid coordinates, you, there's no way to, there'd be no way to find this. But I think we're coming up on it now. I'll flip the camera around as we walk up here so you guys can see.
Okay, we're in the right area. We found the first dolmen. So this is it here. Now, it, it's incredibly hard to tell because the, um, the amount of growth out here, but it is resting on uh, three or four base stones here. Now the entire area is completely overgrown, but this stone matches up with the pictures that we found online. So we know we're in the right area, which means um, we can kind of maybe set this area up as a base camp and then explore just this immediate surrounding area for what we're looking for with the wall and the other dolmen. Um, what, what sucks is that, that the amount of growth here is kind of preventing a full reveal of this uh this dolmen but we're gonna spend some time out here exploring and um i'll, I'll try to be getting in there um to show you guys Look. Look right here. Another one. On a, on a mound. Yes. So that'd be one, two, three. Okay. I wonder if there was one. All right, we're zeroing in, in, in on the, on all the stuff. Okay. All right, now what we're looking for, there's another dolmen out here. I think we've kind of identified that. Crispin's walking over to that now, and then uh, obviously we want to find the wall. Um, it is so incredibly overgrown out here. That's going to be the main challenge. Um, so, but we will persevere. All right, that's the other one from the pictures. I believe.
All right, we've been walking around, exploring and finding some interesting stuff. Now, Crispin found kind of the mother load so far of what we've been looking for. So we're gonna be heading over there right now to find this other clear as day dolmen that's balanced on a, a few stones. Um, that's way easier to tell and see than the one that we that I showed just a minute ago because that one is completely kind of overgrown. It's really hard to show you the base of that one. We're gonna head over to this other one that's um, on an outcropping. Um, so there's nothing growing underneath it or around it. Um, and hopefully try to find that the wall that we're looking for. Cause um, I kind of feel like that's gonna be the smoking gun for anybody watching this in terms of like, you know, um, making up your mind. But there's some interesting stuff out here that we're seeing so far, kind of right angles and straight lines and different stuff. So. I'm gonna get the drone up here in a little bit too and see what I can see from above. I came up through here, but this is as far as I went. Okay guys, we've been out here exploring and uh, my buddy Crispin um, found the most significant dolmen out in the area, right? And here it is. So hopefully you guys can get a good look at that. Look at that block underneath it right there. Now it looks to be balanced on three points, which is pretty typical of dolmens. This is much more of a dolmen than some of the, um, you know, stuff that I've featured lately like Tizer dolmen and stuff like that which is very unique in and of itself but most dolmens typically look like this and now there's several out here the one that i showed you guys earlier had vegetation grown up all around it but look at that block right there it's pretty cool so we're gonna 
kind of post up in this area and start exploring since this is some really key features being found right here on this spot. Um, but the brush is really thick and we're, we're having to stop every once in a while and uh, brush and pull off a bunch of ticks because they're everywhere. We've been getting covered in ticks. So um, anyway, let's get you guys some more good shots. That. Yeah, I'm really hoping we find that wall here. Holy shit. It's a square. Yes. I mean, we've got... this thing. I'm standing in a squared off space. It's so overgrown, but I am standing in it in a squared off space. With squared stones. Oh man. Just so happy to have found what we were looking for. Okay.
Hicks. <sighs> okay, so it is so overgrown. Man, I'm trying to keep these ticks off me. Get in my ears. Getting covered in ticks out here. Um, right below me here. It's so hard. It's like this. The whole. Okay, let me just tell you guys. It's gonna be really hard to show you guys, but I'm gonna do my best to get as much footage as possible while I'm out here. But give you guys just a kind of breakdown of the wall area that I found over here. It is squared off. There is and looks to be a kind of planned to the area but it's also really hard to tell because it's so overgrown you have full-grown trees that have grown on top of the site so like these other sites that I've been documenting in North America um, when I come around to the back because I you know that's one thing that I want to you know get a look at is do these stones maintain their shape all the way through to the back but you it, it's hard to tell because the trees have grown through and they've clearly split the rock apart um in lots of different areas and everything is so weathered down if there are if these sites that i've been covering in north america are megalithic sites with man-made influence they are so extremely old that we have a combination of man-made influence and um, a huge amount of uh, erosion and natural weathering. Um, I'm going to keep exploring the site, but I keep seeing all of these straight lines all over the area. Uh, I'm standing on them right now. Um, and it's, uh, it's wild. This is, I'm just so happy that we found the place. Um, and the, the dolmens as well. Um, so I'm going to keep exploring around and showing you guys um, hopefully all this, this area has to offer. It's just really interesting. All right. I'm not ashamed to say that I am a little lost. It is thick, thick vegetation out here. And uh, this has been no joke finding the dolmen and then the wall. Crispin and I got separated. Um, but we've got a, uh, kind of like a checkpoint. All right. I see a familiar, a familiar spot. So I'm good. Um, but this is such thick vegetation. Um, this. I think I told you guys already seen we've already seen black bears out here um getting covered in ticks this is all very interesting all right i hear him there he is <laughs> all right oh my god all right we finally made it out we just came busting out of the woods here that was crazy we are beat 
we got out here about 10, I think it's three. So we've been walking over these mountainsides and hills and through this thick brush for what, five hours? Yeah. Or be, we both need to chug some water and probably eat a snack and make sure we're not covered in ticks. We got a little uh, welfare check, I think, ahead of us. So I've brushed off so many ticks, I don't even know. Well, man, good job. Awesome. We did it, yeah. And uh, hugely enjoyable. So that was totally worth it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to check out Crispin over on Twitter at TwistDead1. Um, he's got a massive following over there and he's always dropping really cool shit. So you guys definitely check him out. And a huge thank you to PaleoSeti.com. Um, that's how we discovered this place. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll be dropping more content uh, real soon. Stay safe and have a great week.